the worst, I'm, I'm my own worst critic, you know, and I have to put up my imperfection. I don't know whether it works with anybody else, but I can't stand watching myself on TV because <laughs> all I see are my imperfections. And that is what I strive for, is to try to learn and try to improve my delivery and try to deliver a message which I think is honest and true. And I think I come up short because I think I always uh, can do better. But to find one incident where I, I think I really goofed it or I had to suffer through it, it's, it's almost arrogant. To huh? uh, it just keeps freezing out. I think that I can't find any one thing if I'd have only done this, things would have been much better off. So I have been so pleased, you know, to be able to uh, participate in the great debates of our country and to be uh, able to practice uh, medicine. And uh, I, I think that uh, my, great, my greatest thing, uh, you know, in, in family, I mean, I've had, had a great family. I've been married 54 years, had five kids, 18 grandchildren, five great grandchildren. So, no, no so everything is wonderful. So no, no failures. So, <laughs> but the, the biggest struggle I had, it seems so, so incidental. And I don't know whether anybody ever goes through it, but it's something in a teenage year, teenage years are important psychologically, but compared to what I've received and how, what I've been able to do and enjoy, it seems so incidental. And that was a, a physical problem because I, I probably had uh, set for a pretty darn good career in athletics, particularly in track and maybe in football and maybe even baseball. But I had some severe injuries and I really never recovered from them to get to my top speed again. And that was a problem for me. And a teenager, I think maybe we can understand it as a teenager, but you know, now that I look back, why was it such a big deal for me? But it was a big deal for me, but I think I overcame it. <laughs> Anybody, you don't have to answer this question, and we only have limited time. 